What's up VC? This is Brad from H2 Vinyl. The, I'm doing another contest video today and this one is for Alex Spins Vinyl. Alex, congratulations. Uh, it's quite a feat to hit 100 subs. I know I did that about three or four months ago and yeah, it took me about a year. I don't think you've been doing this for a year, um, so congratulations. Um, I'm fairly new to your channel, but uh, if you aren't familiar with Alex Spins Vinyl, um, he loves Hendrix, he loves new stuff, like I know he reviewed the, the Arctic Monkeys album, um, the new one that just came out, what is that name? Hotel Tranquility, I believe, something like Tranquility Hotel or something. Um, and uh, I know you like rap as well. Um, you're kind of all over the place. I like that. I'm kind of all over the place as well. Um, as I really like this question, uh, Alex's question, his birthday was in May. I believe it was May 9th? Anyway, um, his birthday was in May, and so going along the birthday theme, since he hit uh, 100 subscribers in the month of May. He wants to uh, wants for us to uh, choose one of our favorite artists that has the same birthday as us. That doesn't necessarily mean the same year as us, but the same birthday. Um, so there is a Wikipedia article. I had to do some research. I, I don't know this stuff. And uh, there's a Wikipedia article that I'm pretty sure it's not, <laughs> it doesn't have every artist out there. Um, and there was really one artist that I knew on my birthday, which is January 18th. Uh, so here it is. Um, this, not necessarily my favorite artist, but definitely um, I'm, I'm liking the one album that I have from him. This is uh, David Ruffin, and this is the only album I have to show Alex. This is David Ruffin's album. Uh, what, what's the name of this? Uh, Me and Rock and Roll Are Here to Stay. This is uh, released in 1974. Um, if you don't know David Ruffin, uh, he was a member of The Temptations. Um, so kind of that R like rhythm and blues, soul um, kind of... I don't know, rock, like rock and roll, soul, full rock and roll. And um, this goes more along the line of funk, maybe a little psych as well. Um, this cover's really interesting because it has an old 50s jukebox, but then at the bottom it opens up. This is torn, unfortunately. That's not supposed to fold down, but um, yeah. Not 100% certain what was supposed to be there. Um, oh, hey, <laughs> if this was folded in right, there we go. Let's try that again. Look at me! All right, that's awesome. Um, yeah. So, uh, really, this is a really good album. Um, I, I bought this uh, in my third bulk buy. Uh, my third bulk buy was of uh, either 12 or 1400 records. And uh, really good pickup. Um, got it for like 30 cents. Really enjoy that one. Um, since that was only the only album that I had by David Ruffin, um, I chose to pick an artist whose birthday was close to my birthday. And that is... Um, O'Shea Jackson, I, uh, I think you, you'd appreciate this, Alex. Um, this is more of a classic hip-hop, gangster rap type stuff. I don't know. I don't really call gangster rap hip-hop. But uh, O'Shea Jackson is better known as Ice Cube. And I'm just going to go through the first four albums. Um, that was really the, the, the stint, uh, so 1990 to 1994. Uh, was when um, I was listening to Ice Cube. He has he still releases albums to this day, you know, 20 years later, and so um, almost 30 years later. So anyway, um, I, I'm not 
big, huge fan of those, but this is his debut album, uh, America, Triple K, Most Wanted, America's Most Wanted, released in 1990. This is a um, Respect the Classics uh, reissue, I uh, believe it was reissued in 2013, um, 180 gram vinyl. Uh, this was proof when he broke off of NWA. This was proof that he did all the writing for NWA. This is proof that he did all of the writing for NWA. <laughs> Important to say that. I said that twice. And then his next album, um, which these are not my absolute favorite. Um, this is a close one, though. This is Death Certificate. This is another um, Respect the Classics uh, with uh, one of those lenticular covers. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, um, this is a 1991 release. Uh, I love this album. This album is spectacular. And then... <clears throat> His 1994 release, this is right around, the, this is another Respect to Classics. I skipped one, so you know what my favorite album is. I'll cover it soon. Um, <laughs> this is uh, the last album that I uh, listened to uh, back in 19, the 90s um, by Ice Cube. I kind of got out, I did get out of Gangster Rap in 1994. Didn't really care for it anymore. And, uh, and so, yeah. Uh, this, the nice thing about Ice Cube, um, he changes a little with every album. So the first one, very, um, his first one is very Public Enemy style because Public Enemy produced it. Um, the second one was, uh, Death Certificate was um, more along the line of, <clears throat> it still had that comical factor. But yet, at the same time, it was it had some very serious issues that he wanted to cover. Then he also had a diss at the end of, against N.W.A. Um, this one is more of a soulful funk type album, uh, which I really enjoy this one. And then um, my favorite is his third album. Um, so I this slightly out of order, um, but I did that for suspense. Uh, the Predator, uh, released in 1992. Um, man, this collective work, I think, is Ice Cube's best work. Um, so yeah, uh, Ice Cube was born January 15th. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, so I'm covering him three days before me. Um, he's a few years older than me as well. Um, maybe four or five years older than me. I think he was born in 71. I was born in 76, and uh, yeah, this is a great, great album. My favorite track is the title track, um, The Predator, and uh, yeah. So, uh, Alex, um, those are the two albums that I chose um, for your contest. Uh, again, congratulations. You're doing wonderful work. Um, I enjoy uh, the variety of uh, albums that you show. Uh, and that you um, are uh, putting in your collection. Um, keep it up. Uh, you're doing great, great work. And hope um, this contest is going really well for you and that you're enjoying all of the contest videos. Um, yeah, take care, man, and everyone else. Take care. I hope you, everyone's listening to Great Vinyl, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.